Good afternoon, class. Mr. Sutton here. Today we're going to be talking about skill four, which is writing linear equations, uh, specifically in slope intercept form. So here's what I want you to write down your notes here. This is what slope intercept form is. It's y equals mx plus b, where m is defined as the slope and b is defined as the y intercept. So what that means if, is if the y intercept is 0 comma 5, it means that b equals 5, right? So it's whatever the y value is where it crosses through the y-axis. So let's go ahead and look at this first example problem. So this is put the following equations of a line into slope-intercept form, simplifying all fractions. So in order to do that, remember our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So the key step is getting y by itself on one side of the equation. So in order to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 10x to the other side. So then I'll have negative 6y equals negative 10x minus 48. And I ordered it that way because traditionally we have the uh, x term first and then the intercept term. So that's what I did here. I did negative 10x and then my negative 48 um, as opposed to negative 48 minus 10x. So now the only thing I have to do is get rid of this negative 6 in front of the y. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 6. So here I have y equals the negative 6 is cancel. And remember, you have to divide both terms here by this negative 6. Um, so you can also write this as two separate fractions. And it does say simplifying all fractions. So we might be better off writing it like this here. So now we can think about simplifying these fractions individually. So negative 10 over negative 6 first off becomes positive. And then we can simplify the numerator and the denominator by a factor of 2 here. So we could say 5 halves x. And you can leave the x in the numerator like that, or you can bring it off to the side. We cannot bring it down to the denominator, though. I usually keep it off to the side because that makes it more clear to me that the slope is 5 halves, if I just have the 5 halves like that. Um, and then negative 48 over negative 6. So first off, negative divided by negative becomes a positive. And second off, we can reduce the numerator and the denominator by a factor of 6, actually. Uh, this divides perfectly. Negative 48 divided by negative 6 should give us a positive 8. So this would be our final answer in slope-intercept form. So we can see that m is equal to 5 halves and b is equal to a positive 8. So we also have this type of problem, which is uh, writes the equation of the line in fully simplified slope-intercept form. Uh, so for this, what I would do is just individually identify what m is and also what b is. So to figure out what m is, we want to look at the slope of the line. So we just have to pick out any two points, so like this point and this point, and count the rise over run. So in this case, we rise 1, run 2. So our slope would be 1 over 2. And then we want to look for the y-intercept, which is right here. So we can see the y-intercept is at 0, 4. So our b value is 4. So now that we know what those things are, say y equals mx plus b. And we can just plug in 1 half for m and 4 for b. So y equals 1 half x plus, whoops. So y equals 1 half x plus 4. And if I, if I actually picked two points, when I was finding myself, if I picked two points that were further away, you should end up getting the same thing. So let's say I pick this point and this point 
for that, see, we would rise, rise one, two, three, and run one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'll be three over six. And notice three over six, we can reduce the numerator and the denominator by a factor of three, so that would equal the same thing as one half. So when you pick points that are further away, it might be harder to get the right answer just because you have to count a lot of lines. Uh, so you might make an error somewhere. So it's probably ideal to pick two points close together. Uh, but if you pick points that are further away, you should end up with the same answer regardless. The last thing I want to talk about is horizontal and vertical lines, which I don't think comes up on Delta Math. I tried to look for a problem like this and I couldn't find one. So I don't think you will encounter one, but it's still a possibility. So first thinking about horizontal lines. So that would be Like here we have our coordinate plane. If I had a, and maybe I should do a different color here. Just so you can see where it's at. If I had a line going through here where this is a y-intercept of four, for example, um, what we would have is a horizontal line have a slope of zero. So if you think about it, our m value is zero and our b value in this case would be four. So we have y equals mx plus b. So that means I plug in zero for m and four for b. So y equals zero x plus four. Zero x is the same thing as just zero. So really we could just write this as y equals four. And this is probably how you would most normally see a horizontal line written. This is the most simplified version. This is also correct, um, but that 0x is not necessary. So that is how you would write a horizontal line in slope-intercept form. And then vertical line is pretty similar. So a vertical line, let's use blue this time. Go this way, let's say it intercepts the x-axis at five. The difference about a vertical line is that it doesn't actually cross the y-axis unless it is literally on top of the y-axis. Um, so in most cases, it does not actually cross the y-axis, so we don't have a b value, right? And the other thing to note is our slope is undefined. And people a lot of times will get these mixed up. Horizontal line has a slope of zero. Vertical line has an undefined slope. So try to keep those straight in your mind. Um, so how would we write that? You might be wondering if M is undefined and B does not exist either, right? We don't have a B value. So what we do is it's similar to the horizontal line. The horizontal line is Y equals four. And what that means is if you think about that equation, no matter what X value you plug in, if I plug in x equals 1, answer is 4. If I plug in x equals 3, y equals 4. If I plug in x equals negative 1,000, y equals 4. That's what that equation means. We have a similar type equation for this, uh, and we just write as x equals 5. And it's 5 because our x-intercept is 5. So no matter what our y value is, our x value is always going to be 5. So this is how you write vertical line. So this one is a little bit different because we're saying x equals instead of y equals, um, but that is because we don't have a y-intercept and we are passing through the x-axis.
All right, so that is the end of this skill. If you have any questions, make sure you are asking for help in class and coming to office hours for questions. All right, have a good day.